Today, the Sun Coast was supposed to see the worst of Tropical Storm Isaac, but over the weekend it moved west, lessening the threat for all of Florida's Gulf Coast. And yet, as SNN local news reporter Jim Spiewak found out, emergency preparation is never in vain. As the storm heads our way, residents all over Sarasota and Charlotte counties are preparing for Tropical Storm Isaac. I just hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Tropical Storm Isaac has continued to shift west, keeping much of the storm's wrath off of the Sun Coast, which gave a few beachgoers out on Minnesota Beach a reason Monday to see what the ninth named storm of the season was up to. But I think we've we've dodged another bullet. We've been pretty lucky. Venice resident Arlene Novak knows storms are unpredictable and can take a turn for the worst at a moment's notice. What is the preparation like for you when a storm like this is coming our way? Well, um, what I do is I try to get all my supplies in, batteries, flashlights, water. Um, I put my storm shutters up. I get gas in the tanks. I'm always, I try to be really prepared. And the threat to wildlife is imminent from any storm. As you can see over my shoulder here at Minnesota Beach, one turtle nest is already completely submerged underwater due to the high tide. Albert Logan is a volunteer turtle nest watcher. and He was out surveying turtle nest on Minnesota Beach Monday morning. The big concern is to lose all the nests that have been laid subsequent to Debbie. We'll have a lot of concern because they're all vulnerable to another big storm. We may have escaped the brutality of Mother Nature this time, but SNN Local News Chief Meteorologist Justin Mosley reminds us that Isaac's scarce impact to the Sun Coast is no reason to take this or any other storm lightly. The computer models just aren't uh, exact, and everybody within that cone really should take the storm system as a major threat and prepare accordingly. Reporting on Minnesota Beach, Jim Spiewak, SNN Local News.